So here we are going to take a look at the mobile Linux platform from Access Technology. Here you can see a reference design that uh, demonstrates the platform here. Let's take a closer look to see what this mobile Linux platform can offer. Which is you know, typical to most phones and it's fully customizable by a customer. So you get, get status on the phone, date, and you can do different things on it depending upon specific licensing needs. And then from there you can bridge into the launcher which is very similar in look to the old Palm OS style. Except here we're supporting actually three different types of apps. So native apps, uh, Palm OS apps, so we run Garnet OS apps in, in, in emulation, and Java apps as well. And then we can scroll down here. We offer the uh, navigation options as five-way, stylus-based, or finger touch, depending upon what the customer wants to do. So we can go into photos. Customer here. being the operator or customer the actual being user? The hardware manufacturer. Okay. Yeah. So this particular display is dem uh, stylus only. This one could be finger as well. I just have oh, to use stylus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, go in. Through. It's pretty pretty quick in terms of bringing up photos and stuff. Uh, we can also, uh, somewhat different than the old Palm OS, we can go in now and uh, let's grab some music. So you can hear it playing in the background. Now I can keep that playing. Go back to the home, home screen and from there go into a different application to do something different while the music continues to play. Uh, we'll have to pick something else, go back to the photos. So I can, you know, so you can multitask. Exactly. With the, with the I can get access back to the music up here at the top. Oops. And there I can turn it off or go back to the audio player to uh, shut it down. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, application switchers are key. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In this particular um, reference, we don't have any. I don't think we have any. any do you have a phone application on there? We don't have the phone module on this one. I have it over on um, that, but not on this particular one here. Uh, let's see what else we have. I think that's a Java app. Let's try that out. So here's a Java app. Not sure how that works. Alright. So in this, you know, joining Java is one of the options. You can try a Garnet app. I'm not sure. And this it's working over here, but on this one I'm not sure it's loaded. We'll give it a shot. Uh, I think this is going. So we've got some games, we've got some right. mapping applications, right. entertainment right. applications. Right. Uh, how 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 close to a full realization is this platform? Um, it's pretty close. We've been at for, for a while. Um, last 3 GSM, we uh, released it to uh, licensees, so hardware manufacturers. And uh, this week, we announced the uh, orange of the ring uh, phone. Uh, it's the most compliant. Uh, the uh, the uh, okay. It's the first one. Great.